everybody in YouTube land. This is Maria, and I'm playing with this new favorite app of mine called Sampler. Uh, now that I bought it, I can't even believe I hesitated. Um, it really is innovative and different. And I've never worked with samples before, and it's just really been a great way to, you know, to learn about them. And, and you actually get to play the samples. So I loaded up there's a few demo so uh, samples that I use, but I figured out quickly how I can import them through the iTunes, um, you know, you hook up to iTunes and the sharing. And I took some samples from Logic Express, which I use on my Mac. And I just took a, you know, bunch of random ones that were waves, you have to use waves. And this is one of them, I believe. Or this might even be the piano one that they have a bunch of various samples. This might be one of the demo ones. The only thing is you can't see, you know, where it comes from under here. But hey, this is just really cool. I'm not complaining. This is just one way you can play the sample. They're up here. There's each of these is a different way they can be played. And I'm just familiarizing myself with it, so I can't even tell you, except that I know this is the one that looks like a piano. Um, and I just, you know, experimented and I I loaded the bunch six waves. And then I just started to, you can play them individually and you can't record a song, but what you can do is record like the movements that you play of each wave. So that's what I did for six of them. And you can, you know, mute them or, or solo them by just using this transport bar and playing whichever one you want. So I'll start with this one. Actually, I think I like the way it begins with this one. And you could play along with it, should you choose. Or if you recorded something you like, you just have it run and then just bring up each one that you want to add to it. Call this twinkling Christmas tree lights. <laughs> and you actually, to see the one that I just put on, you have to press it again. So that's the one I just added to it. So there's these first two are added. Now let's keep going. That's the next one. Now this, and just so you know, you can stop it by using the one that's called up right here. You can just stop it from there. There's also effects been over here as well, which I haven't really even begun to look into. That's kind of cool. See it recorded the movements that I did. And here's the next one. I like this one, sort of like an ambient. And by the way, you can make the size of the wave bigger or smaller. Say, like that. That's kind of cool. Controlling the volume. This one's cool, isn't it? could theoretically just, you know, use the Apogee Jam that I have to connect the um, iPad to uh, Logic Express and then record the whole thing. And you wouldn't have any control of individual tracks, per se. But if you wrote a song that you liked, I mean, it's just maybe eventually they'll add some kind of recording capabilities or separation of tracks, perhaps. And so that's my little Christmas tree light song, Twinkling Christmas Tree Lights. <laughs> I can see this is going to provide a lot of enjoyment. So get it while it's, I think, only $4.99. It's uh, really getting a lot of good feedback. And I can tell you, I can see why. I've only just scraped the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> so Sampler, great new innovative app. Happy holidays.